So welcome back to the channel guys. Hope everybody's doing good. This is your boy Ali. So um, when I bought the BGW320 device, uh, I got it from AT&T. Uh, they pretty much did not send any uh, technical specification or any kind of overview documentation about the gateway. So this video is going to be about sharing some documentation um, that I was able to find and uh, I'll send the link over as well. I'll put that in the description for you guys to take a look at yourself, but I'll do a side by side comparison between the BGW320 and the 210 device. So you guys have a better idea of what you're working with when you're doing some troubleshooting. But yeah, that, that's it guys. Uh, so let's jump right into the video. So welcome back guys. As you could tell on the left side, we have the BGW320 device, which is the newest AT&T router that's been given out for residential use. On the right side, we have the older model, which is the BGW210 device. Uh, as you could tell, the main difference in the front is one LED and one sync button for 320, and then 210 has three LEDs and one WPS indicator um, in the front. Uh, one looks very outdated, the other one looks pretty up to today's standard. Let's go check out the backside of each of those devices to see what the main differences are. Okay, so we'll start with the one on the right. Um, the 210, we have two USB ports, uh, we have four Ethernets, one ONT, broadband, phone lines, reset, and power button. Now on the left side, the newest one, the 320, we have one ONT port, you have three Ethernet ports, and one 5 gig Ethernet port, which is the latest addition into the new gateway. Um, just in case you want to do SAN backups or anything, that 5 gig will really transfer a lot of data at once. And then we have the reset button, phone lines, USB. Um, and of course, the one another difference in the back of the 320 is that it has SFP module for fiber optics connection. So the fiber optic, uh, oct the fiber optic connection actually terminates right on the back of the gateway into the SFP module. Now let's go take a look at some technical specifications. So part of the technical specification, let's see, um, let's look at the weight. The BGW320 weighs uh, a slightly a bit more, uh, actually not slightly, but probably double the weight than the older model, which is the 210. So that's the biggest difference I see there. Of course, the dimensions are all different as well. Um, another thing I see is, um, you know, the support for tri-band Wi-Fi support, uh, 802.11, um, for the BGW320, the biggest difference is the 802.11ax on the BGW320. Now, for the people that don't know what 802.11ax is, is pretty much the new latest Wi-Fi 6 capabilities um, on the new AT&T router, which the older model does not have. So you could tell it's one port, 2.5 gig. Uh, and 5 gig Ethernet switch and then we got a single port voice FSX FXS is pretty much like an analog port that if you want to ever connect your uh, Faxes or anything, you know um, for that reasons now on the right side We we have four ports. We have more Ethernet ports by um, maybe one extra um, we have the same amount of FXS ports and we just have two USBs where on the 320 we have one USB port um, so WAN interfaces we got uh, one SFP module um, which is how the fiber optic connection is coming in on and then on the right side we have the DSL connection we don't have the fiber optics now both support 2.4 gigahertz network and 5 gigahertz um, as i was saying 802.ax is the wi-fi 6 capability that only the 320 router has now looking at the power supply the major difference between those two is pretty much one is the 320 is 4a dc and 210 is 3a dc that's about the only difference that I'm seeing on the power supply side. Uh, as for the operating temperatures, um, pretty much very similar um, because obviously they have to meet the standards and the storage temperatures are very 
much the same as well. So the biggest differences are, of course, the SFP module on the 320 and the 5 gig Ethernet port. And then, of course, the new router has a Wi-Fi 6 capabilities. Um, and of course, if you want to Google on that, um, you know what the Wi-Fi 6 is all about. There's tons of material out there. So check it out.